And welcome back to the Morning Blend, everybody. If you are traveling soon on a long car ride or flight, our next guest has a warning for you about deep vein thrombosis, also known as DVT. Dr. Deborah Mangioni is a cardiac and thoracic surgeon and owner of the Wisconsin Vein Center and MediSpawn. We mentioned your training in, in that because... It, the, the, your work with heart patients. Right, we've, is so, we've seen a lot of the complications of DVT when I was working as a cardiac surgeon. Yes. And let's, let's explain it for people who, who maybe aren't familiar with it because there are different types of vein problems. Right. DVT is That's specifically to what? To the deep veins, so the veins that are underneath the muscle. They're, it's usually in the leg because we have deep system and superficial system. So there are veins underneath the muscles and then there are veins between the muscle and the skin. And this is just a diagrammatic of what happens when a clot forms in the vein, in the deep veins of the leg. The clot can form and you see instead of having nice blood flow, little cells going through, uh, you have obstructions. And what can happen is, and what makes this dangerous, is if those pieces of clot break off, they actually go to the heart and can obstruct in the lung. So it can be, it can stop somebody from breathing, they can have a rapid heart rate, they can be hypoxic, not enough oxygen, and it actually can lead to shock and death. So it, it is a matter of life and death. People yes. often think of vein problems as, as being cosmetic in That's nature, right. and there are some vein problems that are just cosmetic, That's like exactly. spider veins. That's right, but this kind of thing can be life-threatening, and it can be very serious for the complications, even if it's not causing one of these breakoffs called a pulmonary embolism. It can actually cause long-term problems with swelling in the leg and, and real major issues like that. And pain, too. Let's talk about the symptoms that people may notice that mm -hmm. there's a sign that this is a problem, because if it's under the muscle, it would seem like you wouldn't maybe necessarily right. see so it. it might be more of a vague discomfort, a vague pain, but swelling is very often seen in the leg. Compared to one, one leg to the other, the one leg is very swollen might be somewhat pink and warm to the touch without having just a localized little streak or over a vein that you see on the surface like this the leg that we see on our left as we're looking at this the patient's right leg is quite swollen compared to the left these are very commonly seen after long flights after long car rides uh, so these are important things to know. This is DVT Awareness Month in March, and I always okay. think it's kind of a good month to be aware of wow, things. Wow, that's, that right. very... Well, this is somebody who had chronic vein disease anyway and had skin changes, but then he got that DVT that made him have swelling okay. on that side. Okay, but, you know, and there's now probably this is, a lot of tenderness and pain right, when it's there, like that. Yes, there can be, mm -hmm. but again, these can also be silent, and they can be silent killers because then the blo blood clot, clot can break off and go to the heart and lungs. But this is a month when a lot of people do a lot of traveling because it's spring break yeah. month. And so I just really think it's important for people to be aware of their risks and to know that, listen to your body. If you're finding something's a little bit abnormal, you know, check it out, but try to be preventative first. So if you're taking a long car ride or a long flight, make sure you're moving around, you're doing exercises where you're doing heel toe points a lot, Okay. you know, getting your muscle activated. Because when your muscle squeezes, it's emptying the blood from the deep vein. So it's keeping that dynamic flow going. Okay, so, so the best are really, prevention is movement. Absolutely, walking especially, but if you can't walk, do some nice heel toe points. Okay. Because that's going to activate your calf muscle and it works that pumping mechanism to keep the blood moving. Stay hydrated. Mm -hmm. You might want to take an aspirin orally before a long trip of some kind. But, you know, if you're taking, we all kind of get into this, this uh, thought that, okay, we're going to go drive all the way to Colorado, 17, 17 hour trip or something. I'm just going to go for it and go through and you don't stop. You really should stop and get out and walk around at least every couple of hours. Even if you don't know that you're at risk because That's the right. symptoms might not be. It can happen be, to everybody. It can happen to everybody. Um, and it can happen at any age, but there any are age. certain conditions or things that happen in someone's life that, that put you at risk, like right? Absolutely. What yes. are those things? Well, one is as you age, you are going to be a little bit more likely to have these things happen. But if somebody has had cancer, that also makes them at higher risk. If someone has um, a family history of blood clots, they're at higher risk. But also anything that causes trauma where you're laid up, like if you have a broken bone, mm -hmm. uh, or if you're laid up for a long time uh, with an illness and you're in bed for a great deal of time. If you happen to have a profession where you are in a given position for prolonged periods of time, either sitting or standing or crouching, that kind of thing. So, What about pregnancy? Pregnancy absolutely is a, a risk for deep vein clot, both during the pregnancy and right after for the first three or four weeks after, you are at higher risk to get a deep vein clot. Okay, so if people think they suspect they might have a problem with this, is it, how do you, how do you diagnose it? Is it ultrasound? Yes, ultrasound in the hospital, but if you're having shortness 
shortness of breath or you cough up blood or you're having a rapid heart rate and you just don't feel right, lightheaded, those are signs you need to get to the emergency department right away of whatever the closest hospital is. And they may not even evaluate your leg at that time. They may just be looking to make sure the clot, if you do have a clot in your lung, they can get it treated right away. Because nowadays we have uh, medication that we can dissolve the clot with and we can actually suck the clot out if we get to it early enough. That's wonderful. Through little catheters, through a very minimally invasive procedure in the hospital. And it's really important to note because of this awareness month that varicose veins are a, a definite risk factor they are. for DVT. They are. Varicose veins slow down the blood flow. So even though they're not in the deep system, those are what we call superficial veins between the muscle and the skin. If you form clot in those, then you can also form deep vein clot at up to 40% of the time when people have a phlebitis or a thrombosis, a clot. In the, those varicose veins, you can also be having something in the deep vein. So it is very important to be aware of that. You know, we take care of people with varicose veins all the time. It's interesting, we have actually seen three people already this month with DVT, unsuspected. So it's very important for people to know that if they've got varicose veins, especially if they have symptoms, you know, the aching, the swelling, uh, leg cramps at night, come in and be evaluated because it's going to help. It's wonderful, and it's good to know that varicose veins are a risk for DVT. You evaluate leg discomfort to see if varicose veins are causing an issue that should be addressed because you want to make sure you address it before it leads to complications such as DVT, as we mentioned. So call the Wisconsin Vein Center and MediSpa for that consultation. Again, they'll evaluate it. Call now at 262-746-9088. Their office is in Pewaukee. You can also visit wimedispa.com. That's right, and there are also some exercises that we have some diagrams of on our website and there are others some of the airlines do too to show you what you should do to prevent DVT. Good practice for all of us. Thank you so much. Thank you. Appreciate your time.